Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. Feeling the power of a hurricane and exploring how the human body works are just some of the new exhibits on display at the Greensboro Natural Science Center. Stephanie Berlin shows us why children and adults are gravitating to the Piedmont Triad to experience these amazing displays firsthand. Ever wondered why we sneeze <coughs> or how your digestive system works? If you swallowed your gum, it would go down here, all through here, your stomach. Pretty cool, huh? Almost every aspect of our bodies is uncovered at the Greensboro Natural Science Center's new HealthQuest exhibit. It teaches us about our bodies and how they work. It teaches us about problems that sometimes we can have with our bodies. And it teaches us about healthy choices that we can make pertaining to our bodies. And it does it in a fun way. Melissa Johnson is testing to see if her reaction time is faster than that of a frog's tongue. Discoveries that are not only fascinating, but helpful too. It's quite nice because my husband and I just joined the gym, so we're learning all about health and fitness all over again. So it was kind of nice to see all the things that can happen if we don't continue our newfound uh, health regimen. And while Melissa and her husband Ted are still having fun finding out how to be healthy, their three-year-old daughter Reagan is done. Now what's that? Your foot bone. Right. And what's that? Your arm bone and your hand bone. Right. You can also identify bones and look at x-rays. Then you can calculate your body mass index and... This exhibit shows you how hard the human heart works. Now, the average adult heart beats about 72 times a minute. So you have to squeeze this bowl, keep squeezing, to see if you could keep up. Go, 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 go. You can also get a close-up look at what's usually concealed. Your oh, I see. Sam Dillard is also enthralled by it all. Um, so far, I like seeing the inside of the human body. It's quite amazing. It's scary, but it's amazing. <laughs> His daughter Soleil doesn't agree. It's really disgusting. And she's exactly right. We have things that are intentionally gross because, I mean, let's face it. There's things about our bodies that are pretty gross, right? So we didn't want to leave those out. And a certain age has a lot of fun with gross stuff. So if you want vomit, you know, it's in there. If you want flatulence, yeah, it's in there. You can even smell it. Ew. What does it smell like? Four-year-old Gracie Cohen has another word for it. <laughs> Unforgettable interactive experiments that teach and amuse. The hands-on environment continues down the hall at the new Extreme Weather Gallery. The sound and feel of a 155 mile per hour hurricane, huge hail, and the power of tornadoes and lightning are here. It's a significant search into the mysteries of meteorology. Meanwhile, inspiring young paleontologists is part of the plan at the center's recently revamped theater. All right, so today we're going to be activating our very own robotic dinosaur. Visitors can go from the adventures of Indiana bones to encountering some real, live, endangered animals. Three maned wolf pups were born at the center's Animal Discovery Zoological Park not long ago. There are not very many of, not even in zoos, and so it, it was a big accomplishment for us to be able to breed these animals. And while they are staying out of sight this day, their parents are on alert. Another amazing addition to the Natural Science Center's park. One that already includes everything from tigers to turkeys and even meerkats. Oh my. In Greensboro for North Carolina Weekend, I'm Stephanie Borland. The Natural Science Center of Greensboro is at 4301 Lawndale Drive in Greensboro, and they're open Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Sunday from noon to 5. For more information, give them a call at 336-288-3769 or go online to natsci.org.
Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.